Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I apply my straight lace wigs and making it look as natural as possible. So as you can see, I have crazy braids in my hair. <laughs> it doesn't look very neat, but it takes the bulk away. And in the front, I do have my hair straightened a little bit around the perimeter. Yes, using a heat protectant. And this is because I do blend in my hair along with the wigs to give it the natural look. Before applying the wig, I put on two stocking caps, of course, to take the bulk away and it's flesh colored so that it makes the part look as natural as possible. The unit that I'm going to use today is a unit from the RPG show and it's a full lace wig parting everywhere. Here's the inside of the unit. And as you can see, I have my elastic band that I did sew in both of the ear tabs so that I do not have to use glue or tape to secure the wig on. I used the stretch right band that I did order from eBay and it's about two and a half inches thick. I prefer the thicker band. All you have to do is take some measuring tape, measure around the middle of your head, and whatever the amount of inches is, in my case it's 13 inches, you're just going to take away about 3 inches and in my case it's about 10 inches where I'm going to stop and that's where I am going to measure the elastic band and cut it at that point. It's best to use a typical weaving thread in the curved needle when sewing in the elastic bands. Please don't mind my messed up stocking caps, <laughs> I couldn't find my newer ones. But either way I'm going to show you how I apply this unit using the elastic band and how easy it is. All you're doing is putting the elastic band on first. That's the first thing you're going to do. Put it to the back of your head, make sure it's on secure, and just pull the back of the wig back. And that's all you have to do. You can use bobby pins in the back of it as well to secure the back. Adjust the wig in the front and make sure it's even with the stocking cap because I am going to push it back afterwards because this is what the hairline looks like without me pulling out my hair and I'm not really feeling that hairline. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just take the tail of the fine tooth comb and just push my wig back a little bit so that I can make room to pull my own hair out in the front using the tail of the comb. Make sure that the wig is always even with the stocking cap. Start using the tail of the comb and just start pulling out the hairs left in the front. Pull out as much hair that suits you best. I have a widow's peak so I always make sure that my widow's peak is showing in front of the wig so that it gives me my natural hairline. You can take whatever makeup, foundation, or powder that you use and you can use that to blend in the parts, your real part with the wig part. So now I'm done with all the blending and as you can see the front is very natural looking and even if I pull the wig back as if the wind blew it still looks very very natural. It's also on very snug because of the elastic band so I love this method. No glue, no tape. So now the unit is all curled and styled. It curls very easily. Again, this unit is from RPG Show, and I will put all of the details about this wig in a description box. And uh, like I said, curled very easily. It's a very thick wig. Um, you can see the front is blended well. The original hairline without me using my own hair in the front was a little iffy, but I did remedy that by pulling out my own hair. This is a full lace unit, so you see that it does part everywhere. And uh, again, love the texture, very easy to deal with, tangle free, don't have any problem with this unit. I've had it for a couple of months now and uh, just wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you found this video helpful for those of you who want to start doing this for the fall and winter seasons. Bye.